What up, y'all? Welcome back to the last few modern cubes. They'll be gone tomorrow. And then we'll be back to Zendikar and Historic and, uh, I don't know, maybe there's, I think there's something else, right? Teferi coming down. Let's look at the calendar right now while we're here. I feel like Teferi's probably the strongest card in this pack, right? It says modern cube and then nothing else afterwards. So, I, I, I mean, I don't know if there's something else. I have no idea. They're terrible at updating their calendar, but I'm going to take this Tef. Uh, I can't imagine they do Legacy or Vintage, just because, I mean, they just ran a cube for three weeks. And then, like, it's been nonstop cubes before that, too. Yeah, it's probably the Thousand Year Storm cube, actually. I feel like whenever people visit, they always visit, like, literally the day after the cube ends. I think my friend Nick in Florida visited, like, the day after cube stopped. Teferi, Teferi, where do you where do you leave us here? Narset? Eh. I'm not excited about that. I kind of like Nissa. Hero's Downfall is cool. I'm going to take Hero's Downfall. Oh, Jesus Hunter. And that's good because like, Search for Mars is like, the only card that we would have been able to play if we weren't black here. I think Anguished Unmaking is probably fine. Is Raul anything? Raul's fine. I mean, he's your typical, like, plus one draw card, negative two, kill a thing. Wait, why does Gonti and Tef, what's the interaction between those? Am I missing something? I want to take Anguish on making. Oh, Gijin. Gijin's pretty good. So is Cyclonic Rift. I'm eating an ice cream cookie sandwich. Those are called chip witches, buddy. Well, no, those are cookie. Those are the cookie ones. Dang it! I think it's Gideon. Oh, Soren. All right, so we're basically black white. Maybe trying to splash this. That seems pretty sweet. Well, this isn't three minutes effort. This is five minutes effort. So. Mine was handmade in Portland by Chip Witch Artisans. Wow, that sounds amazing. Oh, six mana Elspeth? I think this is looking pretty good. This is actually looking great so far. What is this, four Planeswalkers so far? So, I think Approach is, is kind of cute. I kind of just want Face Fetters, I think. And some biscuits for the dipskits. <laughs> See, that's pretty funny. That's comedy. I'm going to take Face Fetters because I'm pretty sure all of these can win on their own without, without Approach of the second Sunny Boy. Sonny boy. 
Baby back ribs. Yeah, but here's the thing, Super Fritz. The only reason I even mentioned Approach was because I knew you would. You friggin' love that card for some reason. Oh, happy birthday, Moochel. Happy birthday. I like winning the game, too. That's why I'm taking all these bad, bad Larrys. Um, well, finally a bad, a bad pack. It's probably just this guy, right? I don't think it's Spectral, man. I don't care if he ain't here. I'm gonna send that to him. Oh, Karn seems great. Let's add it to our Planeswalkers. This is also a Plains and a Swamp. I think Karn is a little bit better. Probably not better, but you know what? I don't care. I enjoy maximizing my Planeswalkers. I'm just going to say Murder Shred Cap. That's a playable guy. Kurwit's Tooth Hole was filled today. Kurwit, how's your pain level? Thank you. Drow, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. It's a little sunny. Oh, we're just going to mana tithe people now. Now we're getting serious, boys. Vicodin is still holding it. But if you don't have the Vicodin, is it, has it been rough? Or... Take Cloudy. Cloudy McGooderson. Oh, Yorion. Blinking, Face Fighters, Murder, Shred Camp, uh... Thank you! Wow. Adam, what's going on, my dude? Welcome back, and thank you for the resub. Appreciate you, bro. Obnixilis, huh? I think it's better than than Oblivion Ring, especially because you have heroes anguished and face fetters so far. I also don't like we're not. I don't think we're rift winging yet because we're not that blue. Whereas I really like Ob. This deck wants a Mind Stone. Oh, Forest Island. Shut up and take no. my money. Oh my god, Stip Draft Moving Draft. In honor of my recent move, must take cards that have movement in the artwork. Nothing standing still or in place. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds really hard. <laughs> Alright, we'll give it a shot. Jojo M. Key, thank you so much. I appreciate you, as always. Oh, Gravy Tea. Is Resto any good? Not really yet. I mean, it's basically either Resto or Grave Grave Titan. I'm pretty sure we're just Grave Tightening here. My, for Super Friends, where are you moving to, buddy? My dads. Okay, so let me... Oh, the other side of town. You mean the bad side of town? Typical. Jojo MKE. Do, 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 do. Moving draft. Oh man. I feel like without like movement lines on cards, it might be hard to tell, but we're gonna have to really uh we're gonna have to do some fancy 
Psalm Simulacrum is great here. Um, some fancy uh, justif justification here. Ooh, I like a glacial fortress. I also like a scarab god, but I feel like this is one time where I'm just gonna let him let him ride. Bitter blossom actually could be decent here. Are we a bitter blossom deck by any means? Uh, I mean, the only thing we have is Tefri, which we don't necessarily need to play. We have like no two drops. I want to take glacial fortress. I think it just leaves us open for better things later in the. Just use your best judgment. Nice. Appreciate it. I always appreciate the uh, the flexibility you give me. But then again, a lot of people are like... Most of the people who who, who, who uh, suggest the steps are super easygoing. And a lot of the people who watch the steps are like super sticklers about money. it. Ten Quatlus on the bearded mortal. <laughs> Quatlus. What's that from? That sounds like it's like from episode one or something. Firestarter, oh. thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Neon Tokyo Rain, thank you for the support, buddy. I appreciate you. Yes, the old steal his money. A classic. I kind of like Glensleeve Siphoner here. We have a lot of removal so far. I'm going to take Glensleeve Siphoner. We do not have a lot of two drops yet. Okay, it was a Star Trek reference. God, remember... remember oh, Mindstone. That's exactly what we said we wanted. Yeah. That's really good. Because we have a lot of four and five drops, and Mindstone ramps us two four, so... Your shoes didn't even fit me, so I threw them in the garbage can. Thank you. Austin Floyd, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I think Valley is just fine. Doom Falls, fine, I guess. Uh, Hidden Dragon Slayer, also just a fine guy. What's a what's a panetic? <laughs> um, yeah, we actually I actually moved in in June, so I know the feeling. It actually was not super complicated though. Like it it went it went smoother than I than I would have expected. Oh, Marshall Coup? Actually, I was kind of hoping Marshall Coup would come back. I want your opinion. In my one drop queue, I put the Herald creatures from Shards of Alara. That tutor out the eight drops, like God Sire and Helka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you draft a Herald, you get the corresponding eight drop. And it goes in your sideboard, and the Herald can pull it out of your board and put it into play. I, that it's It seems both busted and cool. Just to be clear. I think that sounds awesome because I like I like little gimmicks like that. I liked uh, I liked playing the conspiracy cards that were like, if you draft this card, you can put it back into the pack later and draft two cards. Um, so I like cards like that. I like I like doing little trickeries, but also that sounds really good because if you end up getting any of those, I feel like you're way advantaged. I would try it though. Like that's the thing. Like I would just try it and play it and see how it goes. Um, I think I feel like I have to take Coalition Relic. If Journey or Doomblade or Muldrifter comes back, I'm going to be pretty thrilled about it. Our deck's actually looking pretty sweet, I think. Thank you. I would like some more land. The Antibody! Thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. If we had that Bitter Blossom, we can play Yawgmoth. I think it might just be Condemn. Or Duress. I think we're, we're going to take Condemn and hope this Duress comes back. We can also do the alternative, take the duress, hope the condemn comes back. Oh man. Three mana Teferi. Also lingering souls. Cast out, go for the throat. I'm mean, just taking three mana Teferi. Like I don't think it's I don't think it's that close really. Oh, Shambling Vent is nice. Thought seize is nice. Our deck is already done. <laughs> and there's like four cards I would play in here. Day of Judgment, Shambling Vent, Thought Seize. I'm thinking the vent, though. We don't have any black-white fixing. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> I 
you are number one on my sub list, but your channel could use a little more cowbell. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. This is 23 cards, and we have three fixing lands. Looking good, looking good. Random ding. Oh man, this pack, even this pack is banging. We got Brazen Borrower, Dream Trawler, and Elspeth. gotta be dream trawler right this card is just busted <laughs> yeah let's go immortal sun hold on let me see how many cards in our deck that shuts off one two three yeah it only shuts off seven cards that's probably the correct play yeah i'm, def I'm just taking dream trawler i think it's too good i mean we can probably cut like Karn? Probably got Yorion. I don't think I care about Yorion. Oh, I like Gideon. I think Gideon might be better than Karn here. Shut up and take my money. Also think it's a cool idea. The only one of the big boys that are unbeatable is Imperial Archangel. The four died of swords. Are yeah. Um, yeah, Imperial Archangel is probably a real miserable card. I don't think it's Sun Titan. Could just be Finale. Finale's actually done pretty well for us. Kaya's Guile doesn't seem like it does really anything in this cube. Except for, like, gain some life. I'm gonna take Finale. Oh, Isolated Chapel is a nice pickup. Wow, that's great. Mm. Take Pack Navigation. Sure. I mean, this is also double blue, which is rough because it's not really the direction we wanted to go in, but... It's also one of my favorite cards in this cube, and I think it's very, very strong, so... Oh, the dress came back. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Gristlebrand came back. Sure, I'll just Gristlebrand. I don't hate Doom Whisperer. I'm not going to take Sphinx's Red because I just feel like our deck has a ton of card advantage. Immortal Sun, okay. Look, the Immortal Sun came back, guys. I mean, I like having Mindstone and Coalition Relic here. It makes me feel better about having all these f f six drops. I might cut Marshall Cooper something, though. We have seven creatures. That's actually more than I expected. Thalia. Oh, we also have Hidden Dragon Slayer in the main deck, which is interesting. I can also see playing 18 lands with this deck, even despite these. So Yorian blinking Planeswalkers isn't that great. Like, I mean, a lot of the times we're plussing. We're plussing this guy. I think we're plussing Ob. We're plussing Gideon. Plussing Elspeth. So, like, a lot of times your Planeswalkers are going to be higher. But then, like, with Yorian, don't forget they come back at the end step. They don't just blink them like Brago. Like, it's not like you get... You can, it's not like you can activate all of them, play Yorian, blink your guys, and then play and activate them again. So, unless, like... Unless the Planeswalkers are actually lower than they're starting. I mean, the cards it's good with is like... Fetters, Grave Titan, Simulacrum, Red Cap. I think those are... I think that's probably it, which kind of makes it a little more meh. Oh, yeah, double activations would be sweet. If it was like Brago, then yeah, that'd be for sure. That'd be... 
pretty nice. This just may be the deck. I actually think Hidden Dragon Slayer is kind of fine. Kills a creature with power 4 greater or just like play it as a 2-1 lifelinker. Sorked by Colares. Oh, well, definitely heavy white. So 6, 79, 10, 3, 4, 5. Nope. Uh, 7, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 15, 6, 7, 18, 19, 4. This is 8, 7, 7. That seems correct. And we're playing 18 lands with a Mind Stone and a Coalition Relic. Yeah, this seems good. I don't really want to miss land drops in this deck. Plus we have like seven planeswalkers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could also even play we could play Karn, but Oh, what up, TPO? On the wings of love. Why do I have all the wings of love stuck in my head? I don't understand why I got any of these things stuck in my head. I will keep this. <laughs> I like it. Oh, we're going to got him, guys. Ooh, next turn we get to... Oh, no, actually, we'll probably just play Gideon next turn, right? It seems better. Man, it's too bad Mindstone can't... Man, oh, dang it. <laughs> That's bad on so many levels. Not only do they know about the mana tie, they also get rid of our Gideon. Yep, that's really bad. You got it. Come on, big card. Not a big card. White. Crack. Okay. Uh, sure. Nothing to do, nothing to say, just had encounters on my thing today. Okay. Well, we are uh, struggling to find some value here. They're doing a thing. Oh, this is nice actually. That was a good value. Thank you. Oh, Halo Cub. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Sure, you got it. And we got a murderous red cap for this guy. Our answers are lining up very well. So say black. Black. One, two. So there's no hard counter for two mana. I can pay for mana leak. Or for, yeah, so like if they pay three, then we just get to mana tithe it. I mean, they have seven cards to our three, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana to their six. And we have a guy on board, so one, two, three, four, five, six, to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have two more permanents. We basically have five to six, plus we're drawing a card. So basically even. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. It's not doing anything. Yep. 
and we're not going to be able to play around that, so. Careful consideration. I don't know what MRC is. Oh, Murder's Red Cap? Now I know. <laughs> Oh boy. Blue. Blue. Don't have mana leak. Oh wow, that resolving is beautiful it's a beautiful thing uh-huh Let's get rid of Hero's Downfall here. I want to keep Mana Tide because if they have another removal spell, I can probably just counter it. And we want to be able to attack next turn to draw. So. Yeah. Just going to let that go away. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to replay it. Yeah, let's just take three here. Assume you don't have Fallen Shinobi. Oh wow, you do. That's pretty wild. <laughs> oh boy. Two lands? Nice. Phenomenal. Why not block? Because if they have, like, Liliana of the Veil, I don't really want to throw a creature away. Like, there's just no reason to block a random Shriek Maw. I mean, this is weird when you not have Mana Tithe. I see. That's very good. Six drops coming in hot. Damnation. Gonti? Okay, that's fine. The nice thing is if they get like Elspeth or something, like it won't kill Dream Trawler. Um, yeah, that's fine. Sure. One, two. 
to. This seems like a really easy block. Oh, okay. That was weird. Hmm. Interesting. Let's bring duress in. Let's take out mana type. Um. A hidden dragon slayer hits. Fallen Shinobi, that's pretty sweet. No car? No, we put we put Gideon instead. I'm gonna keep this hand. Let's see if he's got a turn one watery grave. No, oh, Savai Trial, I'm sure. That's Black Source would be great. Siphoner into Teferi. That seems good. Well, we did not hit that, so that is unfortunate. That's a guy. Not going to bounce here because you might want to bounce something next turn. Unlike Constructed where you're just like, bounce immediately. Yeah, see now we just want to bounce this guy. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. <sighs> Jesus, where are my friggin' black sources here? That's fine. Can't do anything about that. Yep. Uh, this is pretty wild because we either get to play Elspeth or Dream Trawler here. I'm not actually sure which is better. Let's err on the side of Elspeth. Seems really good. So is that though? And let's recover. <laughs> oh, I didn't even untap lands. I don't even care, whatever. I was just too excited about Shriek Maw. Sure, kill a 1 1. You got it. 
Yep. No tax. Seems good. You got it. So have two cards and whatever they took from us. Give me back my family. I want my family back. Hero's downfall on the good Teferi. Yep, that's unfortunate. Oh boy. They are doing well for themselves. Um yep. Let's get another black. Alright, I mean, thankfully we have three creatures that can block a sort of Feast and Famine, so I'm not too concerned with that. annoying. Yep, all right. Wow, Gideon just icing all the all the dudes on their team is pretty pretty awesome. Now we get to draw another card with Teferi. Ideally, a braid one of my one ones. Sounds good. Oh. I mean there's no better feeling than sitting behind Teferi, dude. Um one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they take four from that? Sure. Um One, two, three, four, Gideon. <laughs> Good guess. Seven planeswalkers too many. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, it's just, I mean, like, that's why you draft the planeswalkers, because they're just really good in this format.
Thank you. Oh, Land Seahorse, welcome back. How does it feel knowing it'll be Wednesday in two hours? Pretty good. It will be Wednesday, my dudes. A white source here would be real good. Nailed it. No, 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 nailed it. Oh, when am I going to summon a cube? Ne probably never. Like, I, Wizards does not... Uh, I'm not in Wizards, like, favorites list. That's fantastic. Um, and I also don't have a, a cube that's, like, really specific or original. So, like, it just doesn't do anything for me. Like, my cube is just, like, a powered cube. It's nothing special. It's not, like, only four drop cube. Like, it's just not unique enough to, like, submit and, like... There's plenty of cube content creators that are just that put way more time and effort into their cre their cube creations than I do. So, well, this is rough. I think we're gonna take a hit from this sword here. It's sad because we have lots of removal. Yep, put it into play. Equip the Thraven Inspector. But this does let us go from four to six, which is exactly what we want. Um, so we have white, 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 black, black. Blue, blue, blue. So let's get a black. And next turn we get one of our choice. piece of candy. Well, fire and ice is blue. That's pretty brutal. Power four or greater. Does not affect anyone on board, unfortunately. Like Soren, we think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Soren dies. Like we just shoot something, but that's not very exciting. And they're going a little too wide for us. I think it's still Dreamy Boy. And, uh. Like, the only thing we can't block is whatever they equip, so. Speed to make it take seven. But. There's a lot of things. I would not mind drawing a... Uh... Marshall coup here. 
I don't think that's gonna happen though. <laughs> yep. Not gonna block either of these guys. Yep, go to three here. Oh boy. God, can you imagine if we had a board wipe right now? It'd be freaking ridiculous. Hmm. Are we dead? One, two, three, four, five, one, two. It's not looking good. Face fighters go to 12. Downfall, kill something. I think that's going to be the end. One, two, three, one, two to flip. Oh, it costs three to flip, actually, so that's even worse. But yeah, let's bring in uh, Marshall Coup and Finale. Seems pretty good. We can take the mana tithe out. Actually, Hidden Dragon Slayer as a guy might just be fine. Yeah, it's just a guy that dies, and they didn't have many creatures that were four or greater. Keep this hand. Come on, blue source. See Chrome coast me one time. See Chrome coast me one more time. Oh, wow. Lucky, 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 lucky. That was wild. How good was that? God, sometimes he just calls it, you know? Say Chrome Coast Me one more time. Yeah, just make a Britney Spears parody song. You'll get it. You'll get it. Uh, yeah. I, I like drawing cards. two we have four left uh i think we're just gonna gideon kill this guy maybe actually i kind of like ob kill that guy mm 
<laughs> Hit me, Albert, one more time. Something wasn't right. See, it's funny because they use Disenchant on Solemn Simulacrum, so if we actually played Thalia and Mindstone, Teferi might be alive today. Island. Are we just both playing Esper, but they have like 40 basics? So we can go Island, Mindstone, Gideon, which seems pretty good. Hope this gets the job done. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you're just you're just hard casting that. I see. Hit me, baby, bum, 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 there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's draw a card. Lose a life. Reading rainbow. Well, like we have three creatures in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does not do anything? Fascinating. <laughs> Better make your shark now. I don't know.
Okay, so they take four. They really take five. How was I supposed to know? What up, Dugs? Is it Dugs? I'm just passing here. I don't need to put anything else on the board. Plus, they have a three cards. They didn't do anything. I feel like they're going to play a spell. Make a big shark. Sure. Okay. That's not super impressive. I only have one blue. So that's fascinating. Sure. Alright. Well. One, two, three. Shambling vent. Get rid of Big Tef. Big fat zombies coming through. I have no I have no responses to anything, so. Oh, um, I, I didn't know you guys could hear that, actually. It's pretty loud, but it's... I, I hope it wasn't too loud. Maybe it's a nice ambiance. I mean, they're at five, and they have a bitter blossom. Sure. I'm at 18, and I got a Grave Titan, an Obnixilus. None of these creatures can attack. So, okay, well. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, eleven mana. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I think it's, is it anguished? Shambling vent Gideon? Make a guy? Seems decent. I mean, we're just like, getting rid of this guy for sure. Oh my god, we're just gonna pass through combat. Good gravy. Um, they're gonna put a thing on this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So we'll just play big, big gids. Actually, we're gonna probably crack that. Love it. Free, free turn. And they have, oh, they have no cards in hand. That's really good to know. Jeez. I didn't even notice. That's a solid top deck. Yep. Boy, that's really good. Sword on the ferry. Yep, that sucks. I'm going to crack the Mind Stone and try to hit a Condemn here. That'd be cool. Soren Grim Nemesis. I'm actually finding it hard to believe that we're coming close to losing this game now. Oh, one card away. Actually, that's, I mean, that's good enough to, like, keep us alive for sure. So we can actually kill this, soar in something else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just game, right? We kill two of their blockers and we just murder them. sword is something we got like we have anguished on making we have faith's fetters so i kind of want duress here they have a bunch of nonsense for a duress i'll play 41 with 18 lands Is it weird that I enjoy watching someone die to their own bitter blossom? Nah. Uh, they have Sword of Fire and Ice. Um, 
this hand seems really good actually I will keep it Okay, nothing on turn one is nice. So now whatever they play, we can bounce with big Tefs. Oh, well, I guess not that. That's obnoxious. Oh wow, their hand is Dark Confidant and literal nothing else. Wow, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> that's a strange keep. I guess it's fine. They just probably drew a bunch of lands. So, Swamp. Stone Forge. Wow, that was a nice top deck. Oh, you're sort of fire and ice and the dark confidant. Say yes. <laughs> oh, we didn't even drop the turn. Thank you. Dreamy boy. How dreamy. Super Fritz with the gifted sub to Farty McButt. Beautiful. I mean, let's just both lose our Teferis here, I guess. So they can go land, sort of fire and ice, dark confidant, right? But then we can go ob. One, two, three, activate one, two. Yeah, their sword's really good here. Especially with having a creeping tar pit. Oh, there's what? Oh wow, that's fascinating. Oh, they're killing that? This is all very interesting. So what did they play? They played uh, Failed Passage and Cracked It. So now we know these three cards and then whatever else. I mean, so if they want to kill either Planeswalker, they have to actually activate Tarpit, equip it, and then do nothing else. So that's fine. We still get to... Never mind. <sighs> yep. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty much a no-brainer, right? Wait, did they not cast it? What? Why wouldn't you cast that? Whatever you can do, you can just do next turn. Like, you can get Dark Confidant on the board, play an extra land, equip Dark Confidant, and then take an extra turn. One, two, one, two, one, two. What? Wow. That's insane. They're trying to figure out which one's better. It's definitely Obnixilus, yes. That is correct.
Hmm. So one goes to five, so they can actually equip and attack. Teferi stops miracles. That makes sense. Wow, that's actually sweet. Never mind. God, how many people in the chat are like... I think we just want to kill the Dark Confidant. This sword has been actually a, a thorn in our side all three games. Thank you. Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. I think we just played Dream Trawler here. Yikes. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, they could just go plus car and temp. Temporal Mastery plus Karn. Yeah, that seems really freaking good. Uh, there is no step currently. Yep. It's real good. So we know they have, what, Bloodstained Mire and one other card? Getting creepy. Mm hmm. Well, on the bright side, this is likely their turn. Going face. Sounds good. Sure. Excel shambling vent. Sure. Uh huh. No, I need this to live to kill their things. The tables have turned. I kind of don't want to discard this just because reasons. I'm trying to think of what possible th things we could hit here. 
I guess it doesn't matter actually because we need five mana, so. Let's let's attack first. Let's kill this Karn. That's pretty good. Thank you. Um You can tuck this, they draw, draw. Static suicide, thank you for the resub. Unforgiven, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. What is like they can get Stoneforge or they can get Dark Confidant. I don't really care about either. I just want to draw here. That's actually really good. Sixty six much much sixty six months, Mitch, that's insane, dude. I really appreciate the support, buddy. That is amazing. You're right, that is a long time. Wow. Oh, this old chestnut again, eh? I'm very much looking forward to anguishing this sort of fire and ice. I will take three damage and suffer no further consequences. <laughs> you got it. Um, you're at five. This goes to one. We draw goes to two, three, four. Mm, I'm just gonna pitch Mindstone and and kill Liliana. So now I don't have to pitch anymore. Oh, but red cap's real good. It's all right. I don't know why I said real good, but. So activated, activated. We still get to untap two. This seems good for us. just getting in there for this guy huh okay little friend of mine draw a card oh boy one two three four five six seven eight nine we're not really close to that Oh, but we can play this at instant speed to kill the tar pit? That seems really good. Oh, fat grave daddy as well. Uh, I'm just going to keep my things up.
Wow, finale at instant speed, uncounterable, seems really good. Oh boy, this is going to be a bloodbath. It's not going to matter. They don't even know. I have two Teferis and Dream Trawler in play. You got it. I think we're way ahead. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, they we we won. We won the game. This is what two zero looks like, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's try to finish this off. Do you think we can trophy guys? Fingers crossed. All right, I believe in us. Man, it's not even eleven o'clock and eleven o'clock yet. Be the trophy. I'm working on it. Staying on after, yeah. Uh, this hand's pretty rough. <laughs> two six drops, a five drop, and two lands. See, this is better. Um, let's ship a planes. We'll go glacial into swamp into this. Oh, what up, Chris? Hello, Frank and maybe company. Nope, just me. Just Chuck Testa. I want to play this guy because Mind Stone doesn't ramp us into anything next turn. It just ramps us into four. And I'd rather start getting... Hey, what's good? What is the best pack on pick one and the worst cube you've ever drafted in life? Are you saying this is the worst pack, uh, cube? Is this is this the is this? Are you referencing this cube, or are you just asking specifically? Jaber, you believe this news, man? <laughs> just in general, like, do you believe do you, do you believe this news, man? Like every day. Oh God, what a time to be alive, man. Mana Tithe is definitely not our pack one pick one. I'm pretty sure Teferi Hero of Dominaria is our pack one pick one here. Oh, I'm getting in there? Oh, yeah. I 
I think we just want to play Mindstone because if we do get five, it's a lot better being able to play Teferi. They didn't. They didn't level this guy up. Are we condemning? No, we just no level whatsoever. Mana tithe? You got mana tithe? You gonna tithe me, bro? It's like they let a horse in the hospital. Oh my god, it's true, dude. In my life, in my entire life, I have never seen the kind of shit that's going that's been going on. Oh yeah, no hits. No hits, no hits. Selfless spirit Pokemon gotta catch them all. Oh, a tireless tracker. Do, 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 do. We get to draw a card this turn? That's pretty nice. Land. Hmm. So this could be four, five, six. We got if we had one more mana, it'd be great because then we can go Teferi, untap two, anguished on making. Can you use your magic connections or power of Twitter to find out the next cube? And what, dude? I was really, I was wondering that myself. I checked the calendar tonight and I was like. Uh, what's next? And we played a land. Man, that Marshall Coup in the sideboard every game was wild. I think it's just Teferi block here keep Tef alive that seems good we could also draw like condemn lucky 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 <laughs> oh that's how you do it that's how you do it so Tef takes three here and if we attack I think we can hold back here Wow, that was insane. We could draw Condemn. It's only a 1 in 29 chance. Oh, look, we did it. Meanwhile, we're going to draw land. It's like, well. Maybe you should have thought about that before you did a thing. We have two cards in hand. I don't know if any of them are lands. Which makes Tireless Tractor pretty Tireless Tractor. <laughs> This is a good... I, I'm glad we stayed back. What? Whoa, this is bananas. Block you. So we have Kithian on top, huh? I like this better because... It keeps Teferi at a higher total. And we can kill this guy just as easily with like Soren. Actually, it's easier to kill with Soren. Okay, I see. I want to hit a lamp. We've drawn two extra cards this turn. Eh, that'll do. So now we get to Anguish Unmake and Mana Tithe? That seems cool. I think we're just way ahead right now. 
Man, this condemn has been bananas. What advice would you have for anyone who lives in a swing state? Dude, that's a... I mean, my only advice is uh, open your eyes and ears and <laughs> realize that you're being lied to by Trump every day. What are your favorite magic cards? Um, hold on, let me go look. Do, 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 do. Uh, one of them is... I, f I have no idea what some of these cards are, to be honest with you. Do I just anguished on making this guy? I feel like it's fine, right? Keeping Teferi alive seems real decent. I mean, I don't want to waste the anguish on a stupid student, but, like, the trade-off is keeping Teferi alive, which is pretty big. This is backbreaking. Wow! <laughs> so you know they have Kithian and Tracker in hand? You know what? I mean, I have a controversial opinion, but I do... I, I kind of like the Walking Dead ones. I think stuff like that is cool. Like, I'm not a total, like... I just don't... I mean, maybe they could have handled it differently, but I, I don't think they're going to be that ridiculously hard to get. Anyone who wants them right now can get them up until the 12th. I don't know. I feel like I'm... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... I'm just going to kill this. Good on those? Alright. Yeah, I think if they treated them like the Godzilla ones, it wouldn't be a blip. I, I also think that, like, this was them trying it out, and now they've realized that it went terribly. And they're probably just going to do it differently from now on. But, like, I'm going to be honest with you. I love cool crossover shit like that. Like, if they did a Marvel set, a Marvel secret layer, where there was, like, a fucking Spider-Man or a Captain America, and they were all legal and, like, legacy. Like, dude, I would buy 40 of them. <laughs> like... Hazazi <laughs> Reprint Sword of D&D, zero. Uh, plus you. Draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus, 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 okay. <laughs> Oh god, I spilled my walkers. I can't hold all these walkers. Doop 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 doop. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Voice. They have one card in hand. Oh, okay. They have no cards in here. We would have drawn these two next turn. Sure. Gonna be honest with you, our deck seems bananas. Which is why we're so high up in the rank. Uh, Finale and Marshall Coup seem great here. <sighs> Can probably cut Dragon Slayer. He's kind of slow. I have to sneeze. God, every every single draft I sneeze every video I sneeze at least once. <laughs> uh they're the wet bandits. 
because they leave because Marv would leave the faucets running in the houses. That's our calling card. We're the wet bandits. Uh, I think it's just Dream Trawler. It's going to get shuffled in anyway. We don't have a single blue here. If we can hit one land, it's pretty good. Oh, did they change it for Home Alone 2? Are they the Sticky Bandits? God, that's kind of ridiculous. Hilarious. Here comes Devoted Druid. Vanguard. Big Tiffs. Have you seen the theory that Kevin is Jigsaw? <laughs> no. No, that sounds like something else. I'll take it. So, we have double blue in Dream Trawler. Do we have double black? We have Grave Titan, Finale, Hero's Downfall, Ob, Murderous. Yes, we're going to get another black here. We have like six double black cards and one double blue card, so... Well, we're taking three either way. Might as well make them pay four for it. Four for it? Four for it. Let's draw a card. Yes. Hmm. So Gideon kill this. We take five. Gideon dies. Three, four, five. Otherwise, he takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and he still dies. Okay, well, if he dies, he dies. Still prevents five damage. And we get to play Thalia. One, two, three, one, two, three. Maybe something else next turn. Goodbye, Gidgeon. Gidgeon, my Kidgeon. Oh, that's really nice. I don't want to set the world on fire. Don't play like a Conclave Tribunal or something. That would be extremely rude. That's fine. Forest? Sure. Gideon. I will block a million. Oh, interesting. No? Okay. Okay. Maybe get six one ones here? That's wild. Um. One, two, three, four, five big teffies. Draw a card. Oh, our own Gidgeon. One, two, three, Thalalia. And then pass. This guy's good if they make an emblem, but I don't think we even give a shit about that. Alright, you have planes? Get a forest? 
Now you're gonna draw planes. I see. That's insane. I don't even know what's going on with this deck. So, two planeswalkers. Seems good. Okay, so if if Gideon if we Gideon make an emblem, like we're probably just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we can just go one, two, three, four, five. Obby Bobby. So they block two biggest ones, they take 12, and they lose their board. Yeah, that's fine. There's no crack back on Earth that's going to save you here. Like, because they can't regenerate this guy and they have to block with Oracle, so. And that's if they block the small guys, otherwise they're dead. Mm -hmm. So they take four, eight, yeah, they'd be dead if they did that. They go to two here. Yep, yeah, seems fine. And they make a one one. And we know their hand is planes Gideon one other card. So there's the planes. And don't know what this is. Ulamog. That's really good. Not good enough though. Three oh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Check out manatraders.com. 15% off the first three months of any subscriptions. Great way to support the channel. Check out nordvpn.org. They have a great VPN. If you guys are looking for an internet security solution, you get 68% off the first, not the first, but like a two-year subscription, and you get a free month. So that's a great deal. I'm going to open this treasure chest because I'm a glutton. Dark Prophecy and Cyclops Gladiator. Why are these in here? I don't understand. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.